All right, uh, so this is a project I've been working on uh, thanks to Broad River Tactical. This little guy has become an obsession almost. Um, I love, I have a BNT SD can here, okay? Right. This is for a direct blowback AR9. It threads into the SD can. So yeah, <clears throat> and I thought, what if I shoved it in my 203, <laughs> right? It'll be an integrally suppressed 9mm. So I tested it and it does work. What I needed was an adapter to simply convert, yeah, to convert the AR9 barrel into a 40 millimeter, right? So the way this works is you slide this inside the barrel, this comes out. Sandwich that, sandwich that. Uh, you rotate it. I have a little relief cut in there. So the shell extractor, well, it's not supposed to. It's not, yeah, it doesn't grab the shell, <clears throat> right? And you fire and it's integrally suppressed. Well, this adapter doesn't just work with Broad River Tactical's AR9 barrel. It works with any AR9 barrel. Right, so I could take this barrel, uh, which has an indexing pin, and there is a relief cut in here. So that lines up. Oh, wait first. So <clears throat> I just have a, all right, Timo. Let's take that in there. Oh, there we go. Where's my relief cut? There we go. And now I have my Omega 36M, which can suppress 9mm. Uh, it's a direct blowback, no integrally suppressed, but I can shoot suppressed 9mm out of the 203 now. Let's spin this a little bit. There we go. And then, uh, this is just a regular 9mm barrel, Faxon. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah, stick it in this way first. So this is the one downside. If you just have an AR9 barrel, there's nothing supporting the front of the barrel. It's only gonna be supported by the back. So, when you close this, there's a lot of movement. So you're gonna need a spacer to space off your uh, <clears throat> nine mil. All right. Um, and of course you have Trilug, right? It also works. Shove that in there. Next to barrel. And Bob's your uncle. You have an integrity suppressed tri lug M203.